Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to part 35 of where I show all my vinyl albums and today we are ending the 1960s section and today's video will be Bob Dylan and Simon and Garfunkel so let's get started and the first one up is Bob Dylan's debut album from 1962 I believe it's just self-titled and it's mostly cover versions but there's still some pretty good songs off this I've always loved Talk of New York which I think is great Song for Woody is an original which is a very good song and Pretty Peggy O which will be mentioned later on in the video is a pretty good version as well this one here the second album is one of my favourite Bob Dylan albums and it's the first album I really got to love and it's the freeway and Bob Dylan and it's got Blown in the Wind and Don't Think Twice It's Alright on it as well as A Hard Rain Is Gonna Fall but songs like Talking World War 3 Blues are brilliant I Shall Be Free I think it's hilarious um, Girl from the North Country uh, Masters of War Bob Dylan's Dream very very good album all acoustic of course apart from Karina Karina which has got a few uh, instruments third one is The Times They Are Changing and that's a bit darker but it is very good the title track is excellent only a pawn in their game is great and when the ship comes in yeah good album but as I say not as accessible as uh, the free wheeling and then another side of Bob Dylan which is all acoustic as well and this one's actually crying out a little bit for instrumentation but it's a great track with all I really want to do uh, it ain't me babe and I shall be free number 10 which is even funnier than I Shall Be Free. I really do like this album, but as I say, I think it needed a little bit of uh, instrument backing. Then we have Bring It All Back Home, which is the start of probably the best trilogy that he's ever done. And one side is acoustic-ish, even though there's instruments on it, and the other one is electric. So you get Subterranean Homesick Blues, Mr. Tambourine Man, She Belongs to Me, Maggie's Farm, uh, Love Minus Zero, No Limit, the brilliant, it, it's all over now, Baby Blue. Yeah, really, really good album. And then Highway 61 Revisited, fantastic album with Like a Rolling Stone, Tombstone Blues, Desolation Row, uh, Just Like Tom Thumb Blues, brilliant album from 1965. And um, possibly as best is Blonde on Blonde from 1966 with uh, One of Us Must Know. Just Like a Woman, Sad-Eyed Lady of the Lowlands is my all-time favourite Bob Dylan track. Looks like the You Go Your Way, I Go Mine, Visions of Joanna. Very, very good album. Joel Mesley Hartling, and um, yeah, this is good, but I struggle a little bit with this. Highlights for me are I'll Be Your Baby Tonight, The Wicked Messenger, although the uh, harmonic in that would really pierce your ears. All along with Watchtower, of course, the Ballad of Frankie Lee and Judas Priest is a good album, but it's not the same level for me as Blonde on Blonde. Nashville Skyline, very short album, country, sounding very, very good. Lay Lady Lay, I threw it all away tonight. I'll be staying here with you. Really, really good. Self Portrait, and this is not great at all, it's a double album. Um, there's nothing really off this. A lot of the songs are live, which just don't sound right. Uh, but no, it's not one of my favourites. New Morning, which is better, but it's got that same sort of sound as Self Portrait, if not for you, which is nothing like the George Harrison or the Olivia and John version. Uh, New Morning itself is good. Sign in the Window I do like, although I actually prefer Melanie's version. And um, Winter Lude is a catchy little number. It's not a bad album. More Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. And yeah, this is good. It's got things like Stuck Inside a Mobile with the Memphis Blues again, which I forgot to mention on the Blonde on Blonde album. Positively Fourth Street, which is a fantastic single. And um, then I Shall Be Released. Double album, pretty good. Uh, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid and, and it's okay it's got Knock on Heaven's Door which I'm a little bit fed up with but it's not a bad album and this is Dylan from 1973 and yeah these are outtakes from I think the New Morning Sessions or the Self Portrait Sessions 
But yeah, I quite enjoy this. I really do like Lily of the West. Um, can't help falling in love with Elvis song. I do like his version, uh, Mr. Bojangles. Yeah, it's not a bad album at all. It really does get slated, but it's not really an official album because he had left uh, Columbia or CBS and he went to Ireland for this and I can't remember the label that he was on in America and yeah this is pretty good uh, One Night Like This I think is very good uh, Going Going Gone is a very good song two versions of Forever Young the slow version is the best version and then we get Blood in the Tracks which is possibly one of his best I, I think it's up there uh, I really do enjoy Tangled Up in Blue Lily Rosemary and the Jack of Hearts is my favourite track off this, although not that many people like it. Buckets of Rain is really nice. Shelter from the Storm, Idiot Wind, very, very good album. And then we have The Basement Tapes. And I don't know this one that well. I bought this when I was in Cork a few years ago. And yeah, it's a, it's a new album. And I haven't really played it, so I can't really comment on it. Uh, Desire, and uh, yeah, very very good album again, with tracks like Hurricane, which is brilliant. I really like um, Romance of Durango going into Black Diamond Ray, very good. Isis, Joey, it's a good album. As is Street Legal, with my second favourite Bob Dylan song of all time in this, which is Changing the Guards. Now, whenever this came out in a remix form on CD, the version of Changing on the Guards and that had been extended and it is even better. But you get uh, Baby Stop Crying off this which was a surprise hit single for him. And Is Your Love in Vain also charted, not very high but it's still charted. But yeah, very very good album. Budokan, live album, two discs and it's my favourite live album of his, I love it. A lot of the songs are rearranged. There's plenty of saxophone on it, especially in the version of the times that are changing, which I think is absolutely brilliant. And you know, Mr. Tambourine Man is great. The version of I Want You is unrecognizable, but it's very, very good. It's really slowed down. I love this. This is my favourite Bob Dylan live album. A Slow Train Coming. It's not a bad album as well, with Precious Angel on it. A uh, man gave names to all the animals. Very good. But well, it's like a children's song, really. But Mark Knopfler's all over this. Um, it's, it's decent. It's the start of his uh, Christian trilogy. This one here, Saved, is not as good. The title Saved is pretty good itself. But there's not an awful lot on this I like. Solid Rock's not a bad track. I don't like his version of A Satisfied Mind, though. Shot of Love from 81. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Um, Heart of Mine is pretty good, but the best track off this by a mile is Every Grain of Sand, and that could be nearly his best track of the 80s. Infidels, uh, Martin Hoffler again is on this, and yeah, it's an okay album. It's got Joker Man on it, which is fantastic. Sweet Heart Like You is a very, very good song. Um, Union Sundown, I think, is catchy, but it's a little bit dated. It's a decent album. And then we get Real Live from 1984, and this is a pretty good album as well, although there's too much on the one disc, I think this is about 60 minutes long. But you get Tangled Up in Blue, Masters of War, Highway 61, Maggie's Farm, uh, It Ain't Me Babe, Mr. Tambourine Man, it's decent but it's nowhere near as good as Budokan for me anyway. Uh, Empire Burlesque, and this gets slated quite a bit, but it's got one of my favourite tracks of his on it, and it's um, Tight Connection in My Heart, which I really think is good. And I Remember You, it was a very good track. Knocked Out Loaded, uh, it's not brilliant. It does have Brownsville Girl on it, which is decent. It tends to go on a, a, a bit, but not my favourite. And then we have Down in the Groove. And this is the one with Silvio on it, which is not fantastic either. Ugliest Girl in the World is actually terrible, and I don't like his version of Let's Stick Together. Oh Mercy as a major improvement. Things like Where Teardrops Fall, Shooting Star, Most of the Time, Ring Them Bells, a very, very good album, produced by Daniel Lenoir. Under the Red Sky, I bought this extremely cheap on offer. I never liked it. I had it on CD, but I do really like the title track. 
but I thought if I buy it in vinyl, play it in vinyl, it may uh, change my mind about it, and it hasn't. It's not a good album at all. This one here from 1997, I believe, Time Out of Mind, is absolutely fantastic. With Lovesick, uh, Dirt Road Blues. Uh, try it. Trying to Get to Heaven was actually covered by David Bowie. I love both versions. Not, not Dark Yet, it's a fantastic single. And um, this also has Make You Feel My Love, which was a huge hit for uh, Adele. I think it was actually Billy Joel that first covered that. I think he actually recorded it before Bob Dylan as well. Love and Theft is a very strong album as well with Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Mississippi, my favourite song off this. Summer Days is very good. Uh, High Water, Moonlight, it's a good album. Modern Times another very good album and this is the one with Thunder on the Mountain which is extremely good uh, Beyond Horizon Someday Baby it's a strong album these 2000s albums of Bob Dylan are very strong and then Tempest another very good album with uh, Duke and Whistle which is my favourite Scarlet Town good album And then we have Fallen Angels, which cost me, I think, three pounds new. And it's one of those, um, like, American great songbook or great American songbook albums. And I played this a couple of times, and it's enjoyable, but it is also very forgettable as well. And then Rough and Rowdy Ways, which is a good album, and it's the one with Murder Motes Foul on it, which takes up the whole side. Essential Bob Dylan, double album of his greatest hits, Hard to Beat. And then a rare batch of Little White Wonder, and I got this as part of a job lot, and I don't think I've actually ever played it. I'm sure a lot of this stuff is on the bootleg series. So Simon Garfunkel, and the first one up, although this is not the first release, it's Simon Garfunkel on the Allegro label, but basically it's 10 tracks from the Tom and Jerry years. So you get Hey School Girl, you get Dan Dancing Wild, uh, Two Teenagers, Simon Says, our song. It's not very good at all. And then the first album proper is uh, Wednesday Morning 3am. And this is half a good album. Like The title track is my favourite song off it. You also get the original version of Sounds of Silence. Which I do like, but I much prefer it whenever they added the band uh, to the actual track, because it's the same track. I think it was Bob Junkin did that. Uh, Baker Street's another very good track, as is Sparrow. And I do like Benedictus, it's a beautiful track, but yeah, it's, it's decent. And then we have the Paul Simon Songbook, which is, uh, I think this was only released in the UK. And this is whenever he came over here to do the, the folk clubs. And basically this album has a lot of songs that would feature on the next two Simon Garfunkel albums. So you get I'm a Rock, Leaves It Are Green, A Church Is Burning, April Comes You Will, the Sound Of Silence Again, The Most Peculiar Man, He Was My Brother, Kathy's Song, The Side Of A Hill, A Simple Desultory Philippic, uh, Flowers Never Bend, Bend With The Rainfall and Patterns. It's just Paul on an acoustic guitar and it's really good. Sounds of Silence and this is their second album which they recorded rather hastily after the title track became a number one hit in the U US. So Leaves That Are Green is great. Kathy songs, beautiful. Homeward Bound is on this, which it wasn't on the US version, it got on to the US version of the next album. And uh, I'm a Rock was a hit single here in the UK, along with Homeward Bound. And then Simon Garfunkel, Percy Sager's Rain Time which is really good as well. Scarborough Fair is on here with um, the 59th Street Bridge song, Feeling Groovy. The Dangling Conversation was a single, but it didn't do anything. Uh, you get For Emily Whenever I May Find Her, which is one of Art's best vocals. Really, really good album. I love the track Cloudy. Seekers also covered that. The Graduate, which is a soundtrack, which uh, there's nothing really new on this. The only new thing is a snippet of Mrs. Robinson, which is nothing like the, origi or the original single version that came out. Bookends, many people's favourite album, which I think is very good. America and Mrs. Robinson are the best two tracks off this, but you do get Save the Life of My Child, which is great. I love Fake In It, which was a single as well. 
didn't do too well at the zoo's fine punky's dilemma i really enjoy it's a very good album and then their best album and the second best album of all time for me is bridge over troubled water so the title track is immense el condor pasa cecilia keep this customer satisfied so long frank lloyd wright the boxer baby driver the only living boy in new york why don't you write me bye bye love and song for the asking absolutely perfection Simon Garfunkel's Greatest Hits and this is the album I grew up with and it is absolutely magnificent and there's a couple of tracks off here are live so uh, For Emily is live as well as Kathy's song and Homeward Bound is also live so it's nice to have those live versions Paul Simon his uh, solo album which is fantastic as well with Mother and Child Reunion and Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard but other highlights for me are Run That Body Down Peace Like a River, Papa Hobo, and of course the magnificent Duncan. Or Garfunkel and Angel Claire, and I really like this album as well. Traveling Boys, fantastic track, as is I Shall Sing, the Van Morrison song. Albert Hammond also wrote Mary Was the Only Child, which is really, really good. All I Know, magnificent. It's a really good album. This is actually closer to Bridge Over Troubled Water than the Paul Simon debut or solo because the debut is actually the Paul Simon songbook but yeah really really good album there goes Ryman Simon and this is 1973 excellent album as well with the UK hit Take Me to the Mardi Gras and the US hit Kodachrome but you also get Tenderness the vocals in that are fantastic St Judy's Comment Lovely Like a Rock and the highlight is American Tune and then you have Paul Simon in Concert, like, uh, Live Ryman. And this is one of my favourite live albums of all time. You get uh, Paul singing just with acoustic guitar on his own and some songs. And then some songs is Uru Bamba and they do a fantastic version of The Boxer. And then in some songs it's the Jesse Dixon singers. And the versions of Bridge Over Troubled Water and Sound of Silence are so different but they're really, really enjoyable. And then we have Still Crazy After All These Years. And this is the one with the number one hit in America, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover, which is never one of my favourites, but I always preferred the verses to the chorus and that. But my favourite track off this is Some Lives uh, Roll Easy, which I think is great. Title track's very, very good as well. And I told a lie there, my favourite track is actually My Little Town, the one with Art Garfunkel. And released on the same day and also including that My Little Town is Art Garfunkel's Breakaway and it's a pretty good album uh, I believe uh, when I fall in love the Stevie Wonder song is magnificent and then you get Disney Girls the Beach Boy song which is pretty good as well uh, Ragdoll's fine um, I Only Have Eyes For You was the number one hit in the UK it's a very good album but I do prefer Angel Claire Paul Simon's Greatest Hits etc. There's a couple of live tracks, for example Duncan is a live version of this but the two new songs were Slip Sliding Away and Stranded in a Limousine and they're okay. Art Garfunkel, Watermark and this is the one with uh, their version of What a Wonderful World which features Paul Simon and James Taylor. Not credited to Simon Garfunkel, it's just with Paul Simon and James Taylor. Uh, yeah, it's good. Marionette's my favourite track off this. Crying in My Sleep's pretty good. Uh, Mr. Shuck and Jive. Uh, Wooden Plains. It's fine, but yet again, it's not as good as Breakaway, which wasn't as good as Angel Claire. So the quality for me was starting to go down. And then we get Fate for Breakfast, Art Garfunkel. And yeah, this is actually a decent album. It's got Bright Eyes on it, which wasn't on the US version. And since I don't have you, it was the second single. It didn't do as well. Bright Eyes got to number one. But songs like Beyond the Tears, I think, is very good. Oh How Happy, I do like as well. And Carlin Carter actually covered that as well. And he does a decent version of Miss Unites. It's not bad. One Trick Pony, probably one of the most disappointing albums in my life whenever I first bought it. But I really do like it now. Late in the Evening is fantastic. Uh, how the heart approaches what it yearns is beautiful as is long long day and nobody 
Omar Ends, not a bad track. Uh, Ace in the Hole is okay. It's better than what I used to think, but it's still, well, it's up there. It's sort of mid to high table. Art Garfunkel, Scissors Cut, and this is the one with the heart in New York on it, which they did at the concert for Central Park in 1981. It's not a brilliant album. The title track is okay, but there's not a lot in here that I like. In Covers is not a bad song. Features Paul Simon, but it's not brilliant. Concert for Central Park, yeah, a lot of people love this. I like it, uh, but I don't think it's that great as the sound of it. Uh, there's a lot of that sort of electric -y keyboard stuff that puts me off this a bit. But still, it's got a lot of really good Simon Garfunkel songs and quite a few good Paul Simon songs. And I said, just the one Art Garfunkel, uh, Heart New York. Hearts and Bones from 83, and this was supposed to be the Simon Garfunkel reunion album. But never came about. Yeah, it's a good album. Allergies is great. Hearts and Bones is absolutely fantastic. As is Think Too Much B, which is better than Think Too Much A. Think Too Much A is not a bad track either. It's, uh, the B version is actually sort of more slowed down, more atmospheric. Uh, but one real stinker on this, and it's Cars Are Cars. Then the Art Garfunkel album, which is like a greatest hits, and I think it's really, really good. Got Bright Eyes Breakaway, Heart New York, I Shall Sing, 99 Miles From LA, All I Know, What a Wonderful World, I Only Have Eyes For You, Watermark, I Believe When I Fall In Love It Will Be Forever, Scissors Cut, Sometimes When I'm Dreaming, Traveling Boy, and The Same Old Tears On A New Background. Very, very good album from 84. Graceland, Paul Simon, yeah, excellent, especially side one with The Boy In The Bubble, Graceland, and Diamonds on the Soles of Her Shoes, I Know What I Know. Side 2 is pretty good as well with You Can Call Me Al Under Afternoon Skies and Homeless. Excellent album and sold by the bucket load. Art Garfunkel, The Animal's Christmas, also with Amy Grant. And I keep promising I'm going to play it every Christmas and I never do. So I haven't actually heard it, I've had it for a few years now. Negotiations and Love Songs, 71 to 86. Very good, but it doesn't have Take Me to the Mardi Gras on it, which is weird, so I'm thinking it was made based for the US market. But it's a very good album, all the same. And Art Garfunkel, Lefty, from about 1988, I think. Not a very good album, but it does have uh, So Much in Love, which I really like. The rest of it, not for yet. Rhythm and the Saints, Paul Simon, yeah. Slightly disappointing at the start, but it, it's more rhythmic than uh, Graceland, which yeah, I thought this was going to be Graceland Part 2, but it certainly isn't. Uh, the big hit off this is The Obvious Child, which is good. Born at the Right Time is absolutely beautiful. And the one I really like is She Moves On. It's a good album, but it took me a while to really get to like it. Uh, Paul Simon, So Beautiful or So What, I think this is 2011. It's not a bad album, it's got Get Even Ready for Christmas Day, which I think is very good. Dazzling Blues, good rewrite. It's a decent enough album. This is Stranger to Stranger, and this is not very good at all. Uh, the Werewolf and Wristband, I can't tell the difference between the two songs. They sound exactly the same to me. Uh, Proof of Love, The Riverbank. The Riverbank's probably the best track off it. Number one album, but I just don't read it at all. Okay, in the blue light where he records some old songs and I don't know why he did it because he doesn't improve on it but still it's alright, it's nothing fantastic. The Ultimate Collection, Paul Simon, which includes some Simon Garfunkel tracks. This is really good, it's got You Can Call Me All, Graceland, Mrs. Robinson, The Boxer, Diamond and Souls of Shoes, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover, Cecilia, Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard, The Boy in the Bubble, The Only Living Boy in New York, which is one of my favourite Sam Garfunkel songs is on this, which is great, Mother and Child Reunion, Late in the Evening, Father and Daughter, The Obvious Child, and then Slip Sliding Away, America, Sounds of Sound, Still Crazy, and Bridge Over Troubled Water, Still No Room for Take Me to the Mardi Gras. And lastly, Paul Simon's Seven Psalms, which I played a couple of times. It's not very melodic, it's okay, but it is not brilliant. Okay, so that's my Bob Dylan and Simon Garfunkel collection. I hope you enjoyed that. The next video will be Elton John, Queen, and the Electric Light Orchestra. And so until then, all the best now. Bye bye.